Hey there, Rush fans. This is Mark Minetti alongside you for your latest edition of Behind the Bench, presented by Assurance Solutions, where we ask two of your favorite Rush players questions you've submitted to us on our social media platforms. This week, I'm joined by two new coming forwards to the Rush organization. To my left, the rookie Andy Huff, and to my right, Rush forward J.M. Risk. Both of you gentlemen had a very hot start with this Rush team, and J.M., I'll go ahead and start off with you. Your first Rush game was almost a year removed from your last game in the ECHL. You come out and just fire off a three-point night. That must have felt absolutely <laughs> incredible. Yeah, I did. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like you said, it's been a year, so it was for me. It was just uh, kind of trying to just uh, play the game. You know, I didn't really, I didn't really know how to how to what to expect, how to play. So I just went on, and I, you know, I was playing with Clarky and Chiefer. I mean, those guys. You give them the puck, they'll make plays. So I remember. Like the, I, I think it was the first goal. I, we were on the power play. I just got it up to the point, and Tetsi fired, and I think it went to the top top shelf. And I was thinking to myself, like, well, thank God that went in, because, you know, I just whether you want it or not, you obviously don't judge yourself on points. But when the first shot goes in and you get an assist, it's like, oh, okay, now <laughs> that's done. Yeah, we can move on, you know. So and then the rest of the game just went on and had ch some chances, and it went in. But uh, I felt good, like you said, it felt good to get it just off your chest, kind of get it done, over with, and it focus on actually playing the game, you know? You, on the other hand, on Saturday, you scored your first goal as a professional hockey player against the exact same team in the Missouri <laughs> Mavericks. That must have felt great for you to get that off your back, too. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Like you said, it's kind of kind of a monkey off your back, and it took a little longer than I would have liked. But, you know, <laughs> now I can uh, kind of focus on other things, like uh, Risker said here. It kind of, you know, it feels good. It helps you relax a little bit, and uh, you can focus on some other parts of the game now a little bit better, so. So for you, you're in your rookie year. This is the second team that you've been with. Started off the Idaho Steelheads. What's it like been? Uh, what's it been like trying to gel with the line that is you, Cody Ferriero, and Jesse Schultz? Oh well, it's not hard uh, playing with those guys. They're both, uh, <laughs> you know, skilled players and uh, they bring a unique set of, um, you know, skill to the line. And I, you know, just try to make plays when I get the opportunity to. And uh, you know, it seems to be working out pretty well so far. So. You've jumped all over the lineup with different lines, and it seems that you find yeah. success in every line that you've been on, especially against the Mavericks team. I think yeah. of your 11 points, six of them come against them. Uh, is is yeah. you, Are you just that good against this Missouri team, or <laughs> what's going on there? I don't know what's going on. I think it goes back from when I played in Fort Wayne. Uh, we had a big playoff series against them, and I felt comfortable in that rink from the beginning. But uh, it's funny, Sudi always trips me about that. Like, oh, yeah, we're playing Missouri tonight. Risky's not four points. No, yeah. <laughs> no but... I mean, it's fun to it's fun to play with different guys. You know, uh, uh, it's a different way to go. You know, it's different teams that have different strategies, and I feel like here, uh, you get to play with everybody, so uh, it's fun. You get to play. You, you get to have a different role in pretty much every game. You know, sometimes you play center, wing, left wing. It doesn't matter. You know, playing in the ECHL only ten forwards. If you get run into penalty trouble, you run into you know a couple guys getting the fights. You know, we even had D's jump in and play forward. So. Um, I think the setup of how the league is allows guys to play all over the ice and allows you to, to be creative in different ways. So I, I think that's, that's, that's a good thing for us. Well, we'll go ahead and take a quick commercial break. We'll be back with your second half of Behind the Bench after a word from our sponsor. My job at Assurance involves keeping our customers informed at a time when they need us the most. I care about doing a good job for my company, but mostly I care about the people I serve. I found the same spirit of caring in a lot of my coworkers at Assurance. In the communities where we operate, we get involved with outreach groups and local charities. The same teams that are so good at helping our customers are also hard at work helping out in our neighborhoods. I think if I had to tell somebody one thing about Assurance, I'd say we care. And we're back with your second half of Behind the Bench, presented by Assurance Solutions. Gentlemen, final question for both of you. I'll start off with you this time, Andy. You had played at a national championship for the Ferris State Bulldogs against the Boston College Eagles, and although you unfortunately lost the game, the, the, the trip through the Fullers and Four all the way to the national championship must have been one heck of an experience. Oh, absolutely. Uh, starting off with the tournament, you go uh, play regionals. We went out to Green Bay, Wisconsin, and uh, played uh, Denver College and Cornell there and won both those games, which was a lot of fun, and then uh, went down to Tampa to play in the Frozen Four, and the city of Tampa did a great job putting that on. Um, I think it was the first one they've had down that far south before, so uh, they did a really good job with that, and it was uh, took care of us really well, and it was a really, really good experience. Like you said, didn't get the outcome, you know, I would have wanted, but uh, 
but playing the national championship game was um, good, good learning experience and something I'll, uh, I'll be proud of and remember for a while. So. Well, for what it's worth, a couple years later, you did get revenge against the goaltender in that game, Parker mm -hmm. Milner, on Friday with the big win against Quad City. So uh, absolutely. Definitely throw go. that one on the shelf. <laughs> JM, last question for you. When you were in Fort Wayne, you actually had Doc Emmerich come and call a game. Yeah. That must have been something else. Yeah, that was actually, yeah. Uh, just to see Chaser and Doc together, I mean, Doc telling us stories about when he was a kid listening to Bob Chase and, and learning from him. All the guys were like, wow, this is unreal. You know, you get two legends together. But it was a lot of fun. Like, we got to meet him before. Like, uh, he came in the room, pregame skate and stuff, and, and, and it was fun. Like, he talked to everybody, he made sure he shook everybody's hand. And I, I think I remember him, like, saying that. Like, oh, wait, I haven't met this guy yet. Bob, where's this guy? And I want to meet this guy. And, and it was really fun. Like, uh, you know, but you remind me a lot of him, you know. <laughs> I feel like uh, now that I think about it, you know, the way you prepare yourself for games and how you, you, you articulate you are and, and – if you listen to the NHL game, you guys sound alike. <laughs> so I'm really happy that I get the privilege to be with you now. You know? I, I appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. That's, well. uh, definitely, definitely didn't ex expect that. I, and I'll be honest with you, I don't carry a thesaurus around like Doc does, so I still have some articulation problems to work out. But thanks for the measure of good faith there. Uh, I appreciate it. Gentlemen, hey, thanks so much for are... joining us this week. That'll do it for your thanks latest for edition us. of Behind the Bench. Don't forget to submit your questions for your favorite Rush players on our social media platforms.